Hi guys, it's me and I'm trying to mess around with my video settings because I just, it drives me insane. I have the Canon e.l.f. PowerShot and it drives me insane that um, when I'm filming my day in the life or anything where I'm moving in the video, like if there's not the right lighting, it focuses in and out and I'm not a camera person. Like I used to have like a Canon Rebel XTI, but it was a digital and it didn't shoot video. I'm like, I love taking pictures, but like when it comes to videography or camera, like I have no clue what I'm doing. So if you know how to change that, let me know. But I don't know if this is going to be in focus, out of focus or what's going on. I guess I could be using the GoPro Hero, but it's just like too complicated for my little nut brain to like figure out because you have to like connect it to an app on your iPad and then this and that. Like it's too confusing for me. So. I'm going to stick to this camera and if this is out of focus, I apologize and we're going to get going. This is going to be my July favorites. You know, it's funny because I, when I was thinking about making this video, I was like, oh, this is going to be a really like lame quick video because I have like nothing to show, but I actually do. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible and try not to talk about everything forever. Um, but so we will start off first with the... Um, Kai and Wyatt stuff. I don't really have a lot of Ava stuff just because her she doesn't really change as developmentally as quickly as the two younger kids do. I mean she likes books right now and clothes. She's like a normal eight year old so I'll just leave it at that. But when it comes to Kaya and Wyatt, Kaya has been loving these toys lately. I went on Target.com and I don't know why I never ordered toys from Target.com or online like more often. I did over the Christmas season because I hate Christmas shopping. Like after you work in retail for so long you hate the holidays. So I literally last two years have shopped just from my computer at home for everybody's gifts. Everybody's, like family members, everything just gets shipped to their door. It's awesome. <laughs> but I don't know why I don't do that on like a regular basis. I went to Target.com and I found three really great toys that I wanted to try with her um, for super cheap. They were on clearance and because my order was over $50, um, because I bought something else, I don't remember what it was, but because it was over $50, I got free shipping, so it was awesome. The first thing that I got her was this Bright Stars um, touch tablet. It's supposed to be kind of like a fake iPad. It's got a soft cloth screen to it, but then you push on the buttons and it makes music and lights up, so it's like a touch screen type thing. And then there's this, and then you can switch the, to different music. And I really like it because it also has a volume control, so you can make it quieter, and then you can turn it off. She's really been loving this because she bangs on it or pushes it, and then it like makes this fun music for her, and she loves to dance. Like If you've seen any of my videos, she loves to dance. If you just say, Kaya, dance, 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 she starts dancing. Like it's so funny but she loves music so this is perfect for her because it's like right at the tip of her finger she can touch it and it starts like lighting up and everything so when I'm playing on my iPad she can play on hers so this was like ten dollars on Target I loved it um, the next thing I got her because she's obsessed with her iPhones what baby is not obsessed with the phone John made the mistake of letting Wyatt chew on his when he was Kaya's age a few winters ago and Needless to say, we had to go to the Apple store and get it replaced because Wyatt drooled into the speaker and just totally broke the phone. So we no longer allow our children our phones ever. So um, VTech has this, which also has an on and off button, VTech has this touchscreen phone that not only like you can have two different screens, but you... Is the battery dead? Oh. Whoops, I turned it off, sorry. Be smarter than the baby toy, Kelly. The screen lights up. Okay, bye. Okay, so there's like, it's just a phone. So there's a call button, and then there's an end button, and then you can switch the screen from like a phone setting where if you touch one of these squares, it tells you what it is. Which I think is cool. And then you can switch it to like a music setting. I can't see what I'm touching, but so it's just fun. It's like a touch screen, like literally a touch screen toy for the baby to like chew on, dance with, whatever. So, and there's lots of bright colors. So anyways, this one was, I think like $10 as well. Neither of these were more than 12 or $14, which I thought was amazing because I thought it was a really good deal for what they do. Um, I read some reviews and some people said that this is really cheaply made and all this other junk for as, like it was not worth the money or some crap like that. And that really annoys me because I'm sorry, when I was a child, did you have a fake anything that lit up when you pressed the buttons on the screen and played songs? Like, 
No, I didn't have those things when I was a baby. Actually, when I was Kaya's age, I was in an orphanage in South Korea. Can we talk about that for a second? So when people say that this is too cheaply made for 10 or $12, it just drives me insane because what I had to play with that was probably 10 or $12 back then was probably like a, a metal cup in the rails of my crib in an orphanage full of like Korean babies. I, it just drives me insane and people are like, oh, it wasn't worth the money. Oh, it's so cheaply made. It's like, it's $10, guys. Like, it's a baby toy. It, it does pretty much like, it's pretty awesome for a baby toy. Anyways, that was the complaint that I heard the most was that it wasn't worth the money, but I think it was worth the money, so I'll just give you that. I don't know why I just went off on that tangent. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next thing was this thing. This thing I found at Kohl's, even with my 30% off and the discount that was already in like on it, it was like $24.99 or something like that. And what drives me really insane is that I found this on Target.com on sale for $9.99. So take that, Kohl's. I don't like you anymore and I probably will not shop at your store anymore unless I really, 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 really want something. But this thing's pretty awesome. I saw this when um, Wyatt was a baby, but we never got it. But I don't know. I really wanted to get it for Ava or Kaya because it was fun. So. It, you turn it on, it's got two different volume settings as well. This is by VTech, and it's vibrating, you can kind of hear it. It vibrates and moves around the floor so she can crawl after it. And then when she catches it, you know, it plays songs, you can push the buttons, and they light up, and there's just lots of fun stuff to do. So she's really enjoyed following this around our hardwood floors, and it's just really cute to, like, watch her. Although it's really creepy because sometimes it just, like, goes off randomly if you forget to turn it off. So, like, we'll come into a room at nighttime, and it, and it lights up and starts rolling around, it's like, come play with me! So remember to turn it off unless you want to, like, get yourself scared to death. That pretty much is the toys for Kaya. The other toy that we've really been liking that I got this for Wyatt for his second birthday last year. He and Kaya both have really liked this. This is by Melissa and Doug. I love Melissa and Doug toys. I think they're way overpriced. I mean, yes, they're wooden toys and blah, 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 but I do think they're a little bit overpriced. I don't remember how much this one was. I think I got it from Barnes & Noble, so of course it was overly priced for sure. You could probably find it cheaper at like Target or Babies R Us or Toys R Us. But basically it's just a bunch of locks. So. It's a way to teach your children how to get into things that you don't want them to get into, essentially. It's just a fun, like, I don't know, it's just fun. I mean, yeah, so Kaya's really been enjoying it and why it sits and plays with it, and so we really, really like this. And it's quiet. That's the important thing. So we've loved that. Also for Wyatt and Kaya, we have really been loving these hand sanitizer wipes. I keep these. These are by Baby Ganex. I keep these in my um, all of their book bags and in the car to wipe down surfaces or wipe down their hands um, or their faces. They're, you know, alcohol-free, kills 99.9% .9 of germs, has a great smell to it, and we just really like these. So we keep these on hand everywhere. And another thing that I've been loving from Baby Ganex, I have all of Baby Ganex, Ganex stuff. Like, I've I have all of it. I've been meaning to do a review on everything, but you know, my life gets really busy and then I forget. But I really love this all-purpose cleaner. My best friend, Noelle, um, she was really disgusted with me because I use Clorox wipes, which I agree. I probably should not use them because, you know, at least on eating surfaces, because it's not good for the kids unless I re-wipe the counter down and like I get all of that. So what I did was I bought this and it actually is really, really good. It doesn't have a nasty smell or an offensive smell to it. You, I spray it on my surface and just wipe it down with a paper towel or a towel in general and it gets the surface clean and I can feel safe about my kids eating off the table and counters. So I really, really like this and of course it's organic and all of that junk and I can use it on like the high chairs or why it's junior chair so that's been really, really nice. So I have nixed Clorox wipes in the house everywhere except for the laundry room. I still wipe down my um, laundry thing with the ones that I left over and I have moved to completely all baby Gannix, So. There you go, Noelle. I did this for you. Actually, I did it for my kids, but you know, you were, the, you were also a source of why I did it. I guess since we're talking about the kitchen, food-wise, I've been loving the Anglicina tabletop fast high chair. I don't remember what it's called. It's like a fast tabletop chair or something. Um, what it is, I'll insert a picture up here. I've been posting pictures about it everywhere. I wrote a blog post that included it. It's awesome. I love it. It was $60, which I guess they sell them for $50 for like the basic colors, but I wanted the lime green one to match the kitchen. 
It is so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. It attaches to our table. We only have a table that seats like four people, so it attaches to one of the ends. So it's great in regards to like saving space. I can sweep under it really easily. Kai is really happy in it. It's attractive looking. It fits any table. We took it out actually to dinner with my mom the other night, and it la it latched on to the restaurant table nicely, and I felt safe with her in it. She couldn't get out. And it was just, it's been really great. I love it. I'll leave um, a link to that or a link to my blog post where you can purchase that. I think I got it from Target. I ordered it from there as well with free shipping. I absolutely love it. It also has like this bag in it and it's really easy to clean. So there's this bag underneath it that's connected to it that you can like travel with it. So I don't know. I'll insert pictures. Um, the other thing that I've been really loving is Wyatt's Junior Chair from Ikea. It matches lime green. It's the same color. It's all one piece hard plastic. It's a stool that is higher so he doesn't have to use a high chair or a booster seat anymore and he sits on the other end of the table so it saved us so much room it's given us back one of our dining room chairs so it's just been super nice and like I said it's plastic so it's easy to wipe down so I've been loving that as well I have been loving these puffs they're like baby crack all of my kids like Ava loved these when she was a baby eight years ago Wyatt still loves these he steals them from Kaya and Kaya now loves them I love them they're a godsend for me, I've really been loving these Chimes Ginger Chews. This is the flavor orange, and then I've also been loving the mango flavor. They are so good. I love them. I love Ginger Chews. And then I think I mentioned this in my last favorites, but it's still a favorite, the Sabre Classic Hummus Packets. I like the little packets because I, I get them at Costco or Sam's. That way I don't waste like a huge tub because nobody in the house actually eats hummus except for Kaya and Wyatt. So I can have one of these with a bag of pretzels. I always get these pretzels. I know it's wasteful, but it's just like portion control for me is really good. So I usually do this. And then when I'm feeling not so healthy, I take a bag of these and then a few handfuls of my huge five pound bag of M&M's and I take two handfuls of these and then I eat these two things together because I love pretzels and M&M's. Not the pretzel M&M's as much, but pretzels and M&M's because then you can control the amount of chocolate that goes with the pretzel in your mouth. So yeah, that's my guilty pleasure. Another guilty pleasure of mine has been the grapefruit Izzy's. You guys know I'm obsessed with Izzy's. If you follow me on Facebook, I post about them all the time. But grapefruit has been my favorite just because it's been really refreshing. It's good for you. It's all natural, blah, blah, blah. And then when I have my guilty pleasure nights, I add a little bit of Absolute Citron, which I will leave a link to that blog post underneath here. I did a recipe of this cocktail that I concocted the other night. It's so good. Unless you're under 21, and in that case, it's nasty and it tastes like poop. Wait until you're 21. So I love these by themselves or, you know, an adult way too. So, nah, love them. Eating utensils as well. I'm going to talk about these. Okay. Okay, so you guys know how I love my water bottles. I love, like, I love, 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 love water bottles. Something else I love is just anything that has a straw in it. So it was, I think, over the winter time, <laughs> it was when they were started rolling out, like Walmart started rolling out their summer stuff. So, of course, there was still snow on the ground when they did it because that's how Walmart rolls. But I think it was, like, February, January, February, I found these, and I love them. First, I bought this one. It's a, you know, little... Uh, plastic mason jar with a lid and a straw and I thought it was so cute and I've been obsessed with it and drinking it like crazy this is a 16 ounce one I think right 16 ounce how big are you I don't know I think it's 16 ounce but first I got this one for $5.99 I bought one for Elisa because I was like oh well of course she's gonna want one <laughs> so I bought her one as well and she loved hers and then when Lisa came into town this past July for Wyatt's birthday we went to Walmart together and we found the big mama so this is I think a 20 ounce or 24 ounce I can't remember but this one was a little bit more expensive I don't remember how much more so I bought both of them and they both have water in them because they just like sit around the house with water and I just find them drink out of them like I know that sounds really gross but like that movie signs where the little girl like leaves little glasses of water everywhere like that's me I don't finish my beverages they just like collect around the house just in case aliens attack okay so I promise I promise I promise we're coming to kind of an end this is like a long long video I apologize I just haven't talked to you guys in a long time this way like I just miss you the next two things that I've really been loving I um, have shown pictures of but I don't think I've ever shown you shown you but I will ugh, insert a picture of this I love this thing. This thing is our cabana, our pop-up cabana that we bought last month because we have been going to the beach. Well, not lately because it's been like fall weather here for some reason. Like, I'm not complaining because I love fall weather, but it's kind of a bummer because I just bought all this summer stuff and now it's cold. But we can use this in the fall and in the spring too. It's a pop-up instant sun shelter. It fits in this little bag. Like, the whole thing fits in this little bag. 
and then it you open it up and it literally just pops up into this cabana and I'll insert a picture up here to show you how big it is and how nice it is but I love it and then it just pops back down into this thing we're gonna use the crap out of this like I, I keep saying crap that is so not good sorry Ugh. we're gonna use this a lot we're gonna, I mean, we, I use it in the backyard when we had our pool day. We are gonna take it to the beach when we go to the beach. If we go to picnics, so picnics, it'll be good to keep um, Kaya out of the shade or bugs or poop off of our food. Just anytime, like it's just great to have. I love it. I think I got it for $40 on Amazon.com. It's called the Shade Shack. I really like it. Go to Amazon though if you're gonna look for it because I think you can get free shipping on it if you're an Amazon Prime no member or if you have like a, the free trial, which is what I did to get free shipping. But it's the cheapest there. I couldn't find it any cheaper anywhere else. Actually, it was more expensive everywhere else. So go to Amazon. I love this thing. Love, love, love it. The other thing that we got was this picnic blanket. And I showed this in my vlog when we went to the beach, that like snippet one where I left my camera in my van for a month. This is a picnic blanket and it zips in itself. So like after you unzip this, it unfolds into this large um, waterproof blanket. It's machine washable. It's really cute. It's a little bit padded. I love this. Like I love it. I believe this is the size of this is like a four foot by six foot or maybe five by six foot or something like that. I love it. I'm actually going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond and get another one because it was only $19.99 and we use picnic blankets all the time all the time and the fact that it just zips back into itself like I'm obsessed with anything that like comes in bags or like zips into things like I just love it so we're gonna get another one of those so that's what I've been loving okay now moving on oh one more thing for Kaya I've been loving these little like snack thingies I don't know they're just really cute for like little puffs and stuff moving on from like that we'll get into the clothes and stuff and just a random this is a random miscellaneous I've talked about my travel johns in numerous videos. Um, we keep them in our diaper bag. I keep them in my purse. We keep them in the car. I love these. You cannot believe how much these come in handy. My husband has actually used these on more than two occasions. No, three occasions. I have used one now once, and I gave one to Ava when she was vomiting. They're like a godsend. Like, I love them. What they are are these bags. You tear off the top, and then inside is like this gel so that you can pee or vomit into it. I know that's gross, but trust me, they're lifesavers. You can pee or vomit into it and the gel solidifies it all so that way it doesn't spill. And then you take off this like little thing and then you fold it and it tapes shut and it doesn't leak. So that way you can like hang on to it and it deodorizes so it doesn't smell. So like say you're on a long car trip and somebody has to really pee like your toddler or your husband or you have to pee. Trust me ladies, you can do it. I did it. It solidifies it and takes the stink away so you, like you know you can just put it leave it in your van and so you can dispose of it in a garbage can and it doesn't stink up anything. Same with vomit. If somebody gets car sick like I know like some kids get car sick they're great. You don't smell the vomit like it's just awesome. So I, I, these are just a favorite of all time every month. I keep these everywhere. I think I have two boxes in our van right now because we've been going through them. I found these at Walgreens in the incontinence section, not in the travel section, the incontinence section next to the adult diapers, which I know sounds weird, but you know what? They work. So those are those. These are going to be like me related, like beauty related and stuff like that, I guess. But I've been loving bows. I have always loved bows, but like Kaya's hair um, is so long that I have to put her hair up else it's like in her eyes and she can't see. It's ridiculous. So I went and picked her up some more bows like to put in her hair. These are like cute ones that like have a thing on it. They're like $3.50 a piece and then got those little clips and another bow and like another big mama jamba like white bow but I've been really loving bows for her so I got her some more because we keep losing them like if anybody like if you guys make little tiny cute girl bows like let me know because I'll buy some because we go through them I don't know where they go some little elf comes and steals them but I've been loving those for clothing for me I've really been loving these gap fitness tank tops I bought one in every single color guys I had this 30% off coupon in $25 in gap bucks and I seriously bought every single color that these come in. I love them. The fit is so cute. I think I did my eight, nine month Kaya update in this outfit. I love them. I love the love. I just love the, I love the poo out of them. They're so comfortable with a sports bra underneath. Like I love them. I've also been loving these. These are by the Gap Fit line. They're yoga pants and they're spandexy. They're in like a heather gray, but they're tight all the way down. So they're like runners ones. Like they're like leggings, but thicker. Like I love them. They make my butt look really good too, guys. And I don't usually say nice things about my body. Another thing from Gap that I've been loving is my scarf. I love great scarves. Like, I don't know. There's something about scarves that I just like, I don't know. I love scarves. And if I can find like a really good scarf that's like the right thickness, the cute color, and like the feel, I just, oh, I love them. So 
this was on sale for 30% off, so I bought it. It's like the perfect size, it's the perfect like weight, it's like a light linen, it's just a really nice like summer like scarf. So I've been loving this. I have my little bag of stuff over here. I have been loving my Bedhead Superstar Volumizing Leave-In Conditioner. It smells really good, it works really well. I don't usually do anything to my hair unless I like, like I don't curl it, I don't straighten it. I usually just blow dry or let it air dry. Um, just because I've been really lazy and so I've really been liking this because it's been it's just been making my hair feel nice and smell nice um, in regards to smell I've been wearing the Vera Wang love struck a lot. I love perfume and cologne like if you know me you know this already, but I love them love struck just is It's kind of musky. It's kind of vanilla -y. It's floral. I don't know how to explain. It just smells really good. It smells a little bit sweet, but like in summer, I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. And when it heats up, it just smells really warm, and I just, I really like it. So I've been wearing that a lot. My favorite Urban Decay color right now is Blunt. I'm wearing it today. It's just a really pretty, like, champagne-y color with, like, gold undertones. And I, you're not going to be able to see this. But it's really pretty. I love it. My face, I have not been wearing makeup. Like, if you guys have been watching my videos, I have not been wearing makeup this past month. Ever since I had that weird thing that happened to my eye, I've been kind of steering away from makeup. Like, I felt like my face needed a break. So I've just actually, I've only worn makeup like three times in July. So, yeah. But I've been loving, of course, just like last year. This was in my favorites all last year. It was my Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer. It's supposed to be a dupe for the NARS Orgasm and, like, Laguna, whatever duo but like I don't know this was like $3.99 I think or $2.99 and I really really like it I'm wearing it today I don't think it looks bad it looks good so I like that I've been wearing my Watts up this made it into my favorites a few months ago still been wearing that I love it I wear it over here as a highlighter in here and then on my eyebrow um, and then my my chopstick I actually was obsessed with Lisa's hair Lisa like would do this like whoop, 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 and stick it in her hair and I was like how did she do that I want that so I bought some hair chopsticks from Sally's. They're like $2.99 for two of them. Um, I lose them really easily, so I end up having to buy more. But I really, really like this. It's been really simple. It's been really nice. If you guys have seen my hair up lately, that's how I've been putting it up or just with the messy hair tie. But most of the time it's with this. And I seriously, I was like watching one of her videos because she always does it. She'll like put her hair up halfway through her video. So I kept like rewinding and rewinding. I'm like, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. And then I try to do it like along with her. And I finally figured out how to do it. But I love these. I love those. So yeah. If you hadn't noticed, me and Lisa love each other a lot. We're kind of obsessed with each other. So we are, um, yeah. Yeah. If she has something that I want, I go out and get it and vice versa because that's how like obsessed we are. I'm kidding. Well, am I? I don't know. I don't know. I just love Lisa. The next two things I've been loving, you guys know how much I love to paint my nails. Right now they're like this weird pink and silver. I don't know. I it actually chipped today. I'm pretty bummed I'm after we paint, but these are my two favorite colors from last month. This one is called Shop Today Drop. It's actually three years old. I'm surprised it works as well as it still does because usually the shelf life of nail polish is like two years and then it starts getting thick and weird. But I've really been loving this. I'll insert a picture of my toes with it on over here because it's a really, really pretty sheer pink. But if you build it, it's like a sheer, like creamy, like gel looking pink. I love, love, love this color. Um, also Playdate. I love this color as well. Um, it's a great toe color. Like both of these are awesome toe colors, guys. I'll insert pictures up here. So love those. So you know you're talking too long when your camera shuts off and you don't even realize it and you ramble on for another 20 minutes and then you have to like you realize this and then you have to like re-record. That's what just happened here. I'm gonna just start babbling even faster and get this over with because I feel bad. <laughs> Where did I cut off? Oh I cut off at the nail polishes. So those are those colors. People have been asking me what I use for my top coat to keep my nails you know looking so nice so long. I honestly 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 don't ever have to repaint because of nail chipping. When I have to repaint my nails, it's usually because of they grow out. So I paint my nails like once a week unless I'm feeling like feisty and I need like some me time because that's what I do for my me time. I'm sorry, there's something in my eye. That's what I do for my me time. So if I want to like, I, if I want to change my polish up, I do, but I don't usually have to more than like every week or every week and a half. What I use is Sesh Feet. I love, love, love these. I use the base coat and the top coat. The base coat has really helped keep them stay nicer longer and the top coat is just like amazing it's amazing 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 my only there's something in my eye is the only complaint that I have about I'm gonna talk and like stick things in my eye while I talk so that I can get this over with the only thing complaint I have about the Sesh Feet top coat is that after a while it does get thicker and thicker but I still use it I don't even care I love this stuff I use it on my mom's toes for her pedicures and I do her toes every two day every two weeks sorry so I love 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 this top coat um, people have asked if I could do a tutorial on nail polishing 
and I feel really dumb doing that because I know there are way more people who are better at doing nails that do tutorials on it. But because so many of you have asked, I will do my nail routine. Um, I don't know when I'll get to that, but I'll try to do that this month. I think last but not least is my baby lips. I love, love, love baby lips. You guys know that. This is like a corally pink orange color. No, it's, I don't know. It's like it's like an orange, more orange than coral. It's both orangey coral color. Look goes on really well. I love it. And you guys know I just love baby lips in general. This is from their new collection. I don't remember what the name of this is, and it smells like fruity pebbles. So there is my makeup. And then last but not least, oh my god, there's something in my eye, is two things. One is my iPad. I have really been loving my iPad. Not because like, not for like superficial reasons, but because I just, I love technology. Like the fact that I can just sit down and have my iPad open and then all of a sudden like one of my best friends from like states away is calling and I can like physically see them and talk to them like is so awesome. Like for a stay at home mom, this has been really so awesome for me because I've just been able to talk to people and see them face to face and really build connections and relationships with them without really actually having to be with them. It's like a nice mommy date or a friend date without leaving the house, which as you know, if you have three kids or one kid or two kid, is really hard to do sometimes. So I've really, really, really been loving my iPad just for FaceTiming reasons. Like it's just been really great. So there's that. Last but not least is this new bracelet purse I just picked up. Um, this was on sale for $10 at REI. I got this like two weeks ago or a week ago, I think. I love this. First off, I love yellow. Can we just talk about the fact that I love yellow? Like mustard yellow. Not like yellow yellow, but mustard yellow I have an like, extreme obsession with. Even though I really don't think it looks very good against my skin because I have yellow undertones, so it just doesn't really look good. But I love, love, love mustard yellow and green, olive green. I don't know. Just those fall kind of colors I love. So I picked this up. And what it is, is it's basically like a little tiny purse, but then inside it's got all my room for like my cards, my money, um, and then like a little wristlet. This is where all of our insurance cards are in. So if you're planning on stealing my wallet, that's where those are. And then I can actually even fit my phone, which matches. I didn't do that on purpose, it just did. I can actually fit my phone in here too, and then zip this up, and it's small enough that it can go in the diaper bag, but big enough that I can carry everything I need in it, plus put like a chapstick or a lipstick or some, I don't really carry a lot of makeup around with me, but if I wanna carry like eyeliner or mascara, that fits in here too, and like I said, it fits in the diaper bag nicely. John likes it because he can hold it without looking too girly, and I just, it's been saving my back. So that is it for my haul. I talked way too much, I'm so sorry. That, those are all of my things. If you have any questions of where I got anything, leave comments below. If you like videos like this and you don't mind me talking forever, give me a thumbs up. I don't get anything when you guys give me thumbs ups. I just, all I get is personal gratification and the thought that maybe I'm not talking to myself for no reason. Like, it's just nice and reassuring to get likes on my videos so that I know that people actually like watching them and aren't just like, oh, it's her again. You know? So, yeah. That's why I say that. I don't know. I know some people get paid for likes or whatever, but I don't. I just, I just really like... I don't know, it's nice to know when you people like you, I guess. So, I'm gonna let you go. Again, I'm babbling. I will see you guys all later for VEDA, and yeah, bye.